Heavenly Father, we thank you for another week. We thank you for another day. We thank you for another blessing, another more favor. We thank you for everything that you do for us, Lord. Lord, I don't know why people talk about us. I don't know why people attack us. I don't know why people do the things they do about uh, to us. But Lord, thank you for uh, just guiding us and putting a, a, protect, a protection of shield around us. Um, you know, we're, we we don't come at people. We don't. Uh, we only speak love, and we only speak. Uh, we only bring people to you, and we talk about the things that are going on in the world, and we try to bring people to have their eyes open to the truth. And somehow, some way, um, because an investment isn't. Uh, hasn't gone their way or people need this or people need that they want they use that and they shame try to shame people and try to shame us and try to shame this and that and try to uh, do things because an investment hasn't turned out the way they wanted to yet and that's that's not called for because you know some of these people lord were were talking about this investment all the time and they didn't have any problem in it. And then, and then until they, they realize, okay, it's taking forever. Um, it's, it's not your fault. You're the one, you're the reason why it's taking forever. And, and then they try to blame us for everything, but, but they were talking about it. They presented it to a lot of people and, uh, you know, Lord, it, it, it's it's unbelievable what happens. But Lord, as we continue to watch this thing happen here with Iraq and with Vietnam and with all these other countries and Iran and all the things that are about to happen to the U.S. dollar, Lord, we we're staying. We're just staying patient on you. We trust you uh, that you're going to make the right moves for your saints, and we're not going to uh, bash anybody. We're not going to, uh, uh, you know. Do say bad things about people. I mean, that's not our character, and that's not your character, Christ. Uh, Lord, that's not your character. So we're not going to blame people for nothing. We're not going to do that, Lord. We're going to continue on the path because you have the right path for us, and that's all we can do. We're not shaming people. We're not we're not doing anything like that. If people give, then they give. If people don't, then we we continue to, to depend on you, Father, and you'll bring the right people to give. You'll send the people to give, Lord, because you always make sure that we have enough. The saints will always have enough. The saints will never go hungry. That is the promise of God, and we understand that. And so, Lord, you, if we need money, if you, if we need uh, funding for for our uh, programs or, or or our teachings or our or our, our um, channels, we we ask you, Lord, to send people, people that have never heard our voice before, send them into the right direction to hear the channel's voice and let it click in their minds to to say, this is what I need. These are the people with their eyes open. This is the person that's going to uplift me. This is the person that's going to do things for me. So I'm going to now uh, hit the fan funding button and I'm going to make sure they stay on. That is what we talk about. That is how God moves. We don't have to we don't have to beg, we don't have to plead, we don't have to do any of that stuff. We don't have to diss people. We don't have to talk down on anybody. We can just go to God and say, "Lord, send the people that are going to help me finance everything that I need and the people that are going to bless me through you to get me out of debt, get me out of my situation, get me out of if the people that out there that that are subscribed to me, Lord, are not going to be able to do it or they're tapped out financially and and they're waiting on investments as well. Lord, send the people that you uh, uh, deem that have the money and have the financial means to to uh, help the channel out, help us out, help, uh, you know, and so we can be a blessing to others. That's how we have to operate. That's how we operate. We don't down people. We don't talk about people. We don't say you guys ain't helping. No, we can't do that because there's so many, there's 9 billion of us. There's seven, there, what is it, 6.89, 6.7 billion, 7.2 billion people on the planet. So, I mean, come on. God can move people from Australia to Idaho to, to Belgium to Asia and, and to South America and bring finances into your life. Allow God to do that to you, for you. Allow God to move. Allow God to bring people into your life to bless you. 
and I, and we ask the Lord to bring uh, people and subscribers into our life to bless us. People that have millions of dollars and don't mind uh, blessing the channels, the Currency 365 channel, the Eyes Open Media channel, all the subscribers that are listening right now, their channels if they have any, their homes if they have homes, their family members. They bring people, Lord, to bless all of us, Lord, financially. Just send them, Lord. Just well, you know where we live, Lord. Just send people. Send the people with financial that you have blessed with financial blessings to bless all of us that are listening right now. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, Lord, because that's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to downplay anybody. Not supposed to get mad that people aren't giving. No, we're supposed to go to God and God send the financial givers. Send the financial givers into our lives. Send them. Let them bless the channel. Let them bless our lives. Let them bless the family. Let them let them make us debt free. Send the debt free people. Send the debt free angels into our lives. That's how you pray. And we thank you, Lord, that we had open people's eyes for the right way to pray. Open people's eyes for the right way to do things. And when we make mistakes, Lord, uh, you're there to correct them. And we apologize and we repent with our hearts for those mistakes. And we thank you, Father, for that. We thank you, Lord, that you're always going to be there for us. And we're always going to be there, Lord, to, to, to ask you questions, to talk to you, to be your best friend, to, be, to, to have an intimate relationship with you, Father, and, and to know that everything is going to be all right because Jesus Christ died for my sins. That's a blessing right there. Jesus Christ died for my sins. Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach died for my sins. King Jesus Christ. I, there's no other, there's no better joy to, than knowing that Christ died from the sins of his people, of his chosen people. And those who want to become part of the chosen people as well. There's no better gift than that. So we understand that. And nothing is that difficult and that hard to not call on the one that's perfect. We follow, we follow a living God that is perfect. I mean, I mean, we gotta, I, I don't think people understand that. Finances, go to the living God that is perfect. Uh, healing, go to the living God that is perfect. You got family problems, go to the one that is perfect. He's perfect for a reason. <laughs> he knows how to fix everything. He's perfect. Why can't we go to God? Why can't we go to God? He's perfect. We don't even have to go to him. He comes to us. Isn't, that's even better. He comes to us. He makes sure we're okay. He guides our lives. He asks us, are we fine? Are we okay? If we can hear him. He sends the angels. He sends people to make sure we're okay. When you're stranded in your car because you ran out of gas or you, 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 uh, you blew your fat tire and somebody miraculously st uh, stares off and, and, and comes and help you. That's God sending people to you. Most people don't want to help in this 30 degrees outside. They want to continue to drive because they, they want to stay focused on the road. But people always come out and, 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 and go off the road to help. That's God because God already knew your situation before you even knew it. And he made sure that person that he was going to send uh, to help you was in that same situation, that same area to help you. And he was going to make sure he saw you and then he, he stares off and then they help you. That's God. He already knows your future. He already knows everything you're going to do tomorrow. Why not go to him for help? Why not go to the one that's perfect? Why not? Why not ask the one that's perfect to pray for you? How about that? Stop asking pa prophets. Stop asking pastors. Stop asking the world. Stop asking people that you have no clue what they're doing behind the closed doors and stuff like that. Stop asking them to pray for you when you can ask the one that's perfect to pray for you. Ain't that something? 
Didn't Jesus pray for his people, his disciples? He prayed to God. He prayed to the Father. Jesus wasn't praying to himself. He was praying to the Father. He even said, my Father, who art in heaven. He was telling the disciples how to pray to the Father. He taught the disciples about the Father. His Father. Pray to the one that's perfect. Allow Jesus Christ to, to bless your life. Allow Jesus Christ to change your life. Allow Jesus Christ to intervene in your life. Send people into your life to help you. And he will. Call on the one that's perfect. That's all you have to do. Repent your sins and call on the one that's perfect. Repent your sins with your heart because he looks at the heart. And once you repent with your heart, you'll know when you repent with your heart. You'll know because you, it won't be there anymore. That, that urge or that, that thing that is shaking you won't be there anymore. You know when you repent with your heart. You know when you say sorry from the heart. Sometimes when we repent, we don't do it from the heart. Sometimes when we say we're sorry, we don't do it from the heart. You know when you're sorry from the heart. And when that day, when that time comes, when you relax and then you say, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. You know that. You know if you're really sorry. And that's repenting from the heart because Jesus texts the heart. Okay? So pray to the one that's perfect for everything. He's perfect for a reason. And that's a gift. That no one else can give us. Someone that's perfect. We will never be perfect. Your mom is not perfect. Your dad is not perfect. Your wife and your and your husband is not perfect. Your children aren't perfect. Nobody's perfect but Yeshua, Jesus Christ. That's who you should be praying to. That's who you should be getting advice from. That's who you should be asking for financial means from. That's the one that you should be going to. The one that's perfect. Not the world. The world's nowhere close to being perfect. But yet everybody goes to the world. Everybody runs to the world instead of running to the one that's perfect. Ain't that something? The angels honor him because he's perfect. He's the living God. And the angels bow at his presence. Every knee will bow to Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, because he's perfect and he, he's the living God. Eyes open. And I cover this prayer in the blood of Yeshua and the power of the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit. Shalom. And good night, everybody. Um, what, a, what a day. What a week. Um, next week, uh, we're expecting the budget and some other things like that in Iraq. And, uh, we're hopefully maybe expecting some news in Vietnam and, and some, and some other news in South Korea and some other things like that. And we're going to be watching Wall Street and, and, uh, Asian markets and uh, everything else like that on this channel. And, uh, we're going to continue to, to uh, go on this ride. And I, I, I thank you all that are fan funding and I bless you a thousand fold, uh, for doing that. And I thank you guys to, that are, uh, supporting for free, uh, you know, support, you know how to do that. <laughs> Uh, with the clicks and the ads and stuff like that. Um, so um, thank you all so much and have a wonderful, blessed night and keep the faith alive. Uh, we're moving forward and we're not downing anybody. We're not talking bad about anybody. We're just going forward and we're bringing news and we're praying and we're bringing people to Christ and we're just having a good time regardless of our situation. It doesn't matter because Christ died for our sins. That is the joy. And we and if you need anything, go to the one that's perfect. Eyes open. Good night.